Hello, in this screencast I want to um, highlight some of the main profile features within uh, the Octel website. So I'm on the landing page for Octel, this is octel.ac.uk slash 2014 and um, within the site on each of the pages that, that you go to if you're not logged in you'll see this username and password box so hopefully you've already received those details of your um, within a, a separate email if at any point you forget your password we have a password recovery option here for added convenience we actually use um, some additional services to provide authentication for us so for example if you used a, a Gmail or a Google account as your email address when registering for the course um, you can click this button uh, and then essentially we use Google um, to authenticate you and, and log you in so let me show you how that works. So I'm just clicking on the Google and um, the the email address I've already registered with the courses in here and I just need to enter my password. So none of this information gets passed back to us. All, all that's happening is the site is asking um, Google to uh, authenticate you and Google will send back yes this is a, a person on the course essentially. So I click sign in. So what should happen now is we are now logged in. So the, the login box gets replaced with a link. This link goes to your um, profile. Um, you can also access your profile um, through this menu option here as well, but I'll just go through here. So um, this is your main profile landing page. So um, there are a couple of tabs and there'll be um, other videos explaining some of those to you. So for now I want to focus on the, the profile tab. So this is where you can enter information about yourself um, so that other participants on the course can um, see, connect with you. Um, so for example if, if you know you've got a Twitter account or a Delicious account um, you can choose to advertise that so um, people can connect with you on other services as well not just within um, Octel itself. So I'm going to set this up by clicking on the edit button to enter some information. Um, so we've got uh, some basic things such as name and where you're from. The one I want to show you in particular is this uh, the blog address. So uh, the way that the, the site is set up is um, if you're blogging about the course then if you register your blog with us then um, we basically look for new posts uh, relating to Octel and then they go into the course reader and they get pushed out in the newsletter as well. So if this is something that you want to do what you need to do is just enter the address of your of where you blog so I'm just entering mine and there's a button here which will just check to see if there's um, a data feed that it can get the information from. Um, so yes it's got it the other thing to do is, um, by default, you're not searchable as a, as a member um, of the site. Um, so there's a, a button here as well. So once we've got all those set, we can click Save and that will update the information. Um, something else to note is that within each of these fields, except for um, the name which is required, you can choose whether or not it's visible. So for example if you don't want to s people to find out where you blog from you can select um, so that it's only visible to you yourself, it's only visible um, to members of this site or it's only uh, visible to your friends and there'll be a separate screen screencast about um, friending people within the site. The next tab I want to show you is just this um, social. So this is uh, where you can enter some of your social profile information. So for some of the fields like Twitter you can just enter your, your Twitter handle. For something like um, Google Plus it's a bit more complicated because we just need the URL. I'm just going to ignore that message and just grab the URL. Uh, and for other services like SlideShare it's just your ID or your username. Delicious and the other bookmarking service um, Dijou as well. So I'm going to click on save. 
So again, we've got full control about whether or not these are visible. Um, I'm just going to switch to the view option. And what you can see is all those uh, places are, are linked to. So if I want to um, see this profile page, I can just click on the link and the same for, for Twitter and so on. The last thing I just want to quickly talk about is your avatar. It's nice to, to see um, the, the, the face behind the name. So um, w there are a couple of ways that we have um, a picture avatar integration into the site. We use the, the Gravatar service. So for some of you, if you've already registered with Gravatar with the same email address you're using on the course, you might already have a picture here. Um, but you can also um, choose to, to upload a file as well. So I'm just going to copy this file here. And you can also click on the button which p brings up the file um, picker. So you can just navigate for a picture on your desktop or your, your hard drive. Uh, and then like a lot of other sites, we can resize this image, crop it how we like. And that's it saved. So. That's the basic information about the profiles. Um, stay tuned for other uh, screencasts covering some of the other features. Thanks.